Hello, and welcome back to another video from the Luxygen world of billionaires, luxury, and mega projects. In today's video, we will take an exclusive look at the Merdeka PNB 118, the world's last mega skyscraper, and how it came to be. Our cities are now awash in high rise structures that appear to touch the blue sky. Skyscrapers have become a common sight in modern cities. But what we are seeing now is something much bigger than that. We now have mega tall skyscrapers that will make the average skyscraper appear to be an ordinary structure. In terms of buildings, the Merdeka PNB 118 has broken the record and is set to be the world's last mega tall skyscraper. But why is it termed the last of its kind, and why does it have this title? To discover this, Watch the video until the very end. Merdeka PNB 118 In the district of Japan Hang Jebat, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the Merdeka PNB 118 is a skyscraper that is currently under development near the Merdeka Stadium. From the moment the idea was approved, the public began to respond to the skyscraper, which is located only 100 meters from the stadium. In case you didn't know, the Merdeka Stadium is a historic site in Malaysia's capital city because it was the place where Malaysia's independence was declared. Sporting activities, festivities, and concerts are also held at the stadium. The History World Tour, which took place in October 1996 and featured the iconic Michael Jackson, was one of the most memorable events with two shows selling out 110,000 tickets. In recent years, the stadium has also welcomed a slew of other worldwide performers, including Mariah Carey, Jennifer Lopez, Justin Bieber, and others. As you can see, the Merdeka Stadium and its environs are deeply ingrained in Malaysian culture, and any work done in the area is always of interest to the country. Surprisingly, the Merdeka PNB 118 was not the first high-rise structure built in the neighborhood. The Petronas Tower and the KL Tower are the other two towers in the area. PNB 118, on the other hand, is a taller replica of modern skyscrapers. What is Merdeka 118? In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Merdeka 118 is a 118-story structure on a 2,113-foot site. The developers intend to make it the country's tallest skyscraper by the time it is completed, which will begin in August 2021. Currently, the region's Petronas Tower holds the record. Merdeka 118 will be the world's second highest building when it's finished, surpassing China's 128 Shanghai Tower. It will cost astronomical sums to complete a structure this tall, but who is actually behind it? Permodalan Nasional Berhad Permodala Nasional Berhad is funding the project at a cost of 5 billion ringgit, or more than $1.2 billion. On the property, the developers intend to build a hotel as well as residential condos and office space. Tenants will be able to rent out 100 stories of space for hotels, offices, shops, and any other type of business they can dream of. Elevators, maintenance rooms, and recreational amenities, such as gyms, among other things, will be included in the non-rental space. Merdeka 118 will be so large that it will be able to accommodate more than 8,500 vehicles at a time, so you can imagine how much room it will take up. The mega-tall skyscraper, which was mentioned on Petaling Hill, will be located near the Chinwu Stadium, Methodist Boys' School school grounds, Victoria Institution, and the soon-to-be-completed Merdeka Stadium, as well as other historical places. Design With a glass and steel exterior, the Merdeka 118 will have a diamond-shaped group of facades. The building's spire resembles that of Tunku Abdul Rahman, who chanted the momentous Merdeka slogan, at the Independence Proclamation Ceremony on August 31, 1957, with a raised hand. The people's country culture was also a source of inspiration for the architecture. Robert Bird Group and Leslie E. Robertson Associates are the architects behind the project. The project is also being managed by Nipoli Group, a consulting business, 
and the developers intend to incorporate a green component into the structure to make it carbon neutral. History of the Project PNB announced on November 23, 2015, that it had awarded the project to a joint venture between UEM Group and Samsung CNT in South Korea. And two years later, on November 9, 2017, an additional 2 billion ringgit was added to the 3.4 billion ringgit to fund the structure's green design and initiative, which was designed to last for 15 years. A Sukuk loan was used to partially fund the project, and ASEAN Green Bond Standards was one of the first to take use of it. When the building is finished, PNB expects Hyatt Park to open one of its hotels in the structure, which will include 30 apartments, 28 suites, and 232 units on 17 floors. Despite the fact that construction began shortly after the project was announced, it was halted in March 2020 due to a movement control order imposed by the authorities to prevent the COVID virus from spreading throughout the country. Work was resumed in mid-May, and the concrete core had reached 118 floors by August. The president of PNB, Ahmad Zulkarnain On, issued a statement on October 25, 2020, announcing that due to the pandemic's delay, the building would be completed by 2022 rather than the previous timetable of 2021. The project's first and second phases will now be completed in 2022, while the third phase will be completed in 2024 or 2025. The construction is in its initial phase with an 81% completion rate as of the time of recording this video. With more than half of the store podium constructed, false facades have already been put in place. Criticisms Despite the fact that Merdeka 118 will establish a new record in the region, it has been criticized by some in the public, with many calling it a waste of money. Spending so much money on a structure makes little sense in a country that is still coping with the issues of a broken healthcare and educational system. At the height of the controversy, then Prime Minister Najib Tun Razak defended the project by pointing to the country's economic benefits. The government feels that Merdeka 118 is not only a luxury, but an economic need to drive economic growth, with thousands of people already employed for its construction, and thousands will be employed as permanent personnel once the building opens for business. Transportation The Merdeka MRT station in Kajang Line, which connects to the Ampang Sri Interchange on Jalan Hang Sebat, will serve Merdeka 118. From the MRT station, the Sungai Bulokajang line is the most convenient method to get there, and the building is only a short walk away. What is the height of the Merdeka 118? The building is expected to rise to a height of 2,152 feet once it is completed. The building's crown will rise to a height of around 570 feet above sea level, while the highest occupied floor will rise to a height of 485 feet above sea level. Why is Merdeka 118 called the last megatall skyscraper? Because these types of buildings are quickly going out of popularity for a variety of reasons, Merdeka 118 is known as the world's finest megatall skyscraper. To begin with, they are expensive to build, thus investors may not get a good return on their investment. Zweitens, by spreading shadows over a large region and blocking the sun from covering the section they cover, they distort the skyline, obscuring the sun's view. More importantly, recent evidence has revealed that many of these structures aren't as environmentally friendly as their promoters would have you believe. In fact, they have a higher carbon impact in the ecosystem than previously thought. Megatall skyscrapers are the last thing ecologists and environmentalists want to see in the world that is so frantic to go green. The majority of the design and construction technology for large structures come from the United States, although even the United States has stopped building megatall skyscrapers in recent years since they don't see the value in doing so. So, unless developers can come up with innovative solutions to handle environmental problems, Merdeka 118 may be the only megatall skyscraper completed in this decade or in the decades to come. For what it's worth, if completed, it'll be the world's second tallest skyscraper and Malaysians should be proud of their accomplishment. What do you think of the Merdeka PNB 118? 
What do you think of its engineering and architecture? Do you believe that the age of skyscrapers are truly coming to a close? Please let us know by commenting your ideas down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you like it and we hope that you learned a little bit more about the Merdeka PNB 118. Please join us again for another LuxiGen video. To stay updated to our newest videos and content, please hit the like button, smash that notification bell, and subscribe to our channel. We hope to give you more videos in the future. Until then, take care and see you in the next LuxiGen video.